What is up guys, it's Hack Your Device One here and I'm going to be showing you guys how to get iOS 7 on your iPhone 4, your iPhone 4S, your iPod Touch, and your iPod Touch 4th generation. I do not know how to get it on the iPhone 5 because I was told that there are so many other different things that you have to do, like you have to look for the serial number on the back of the iPhone 5, and I'm using an iPhone 4, as you can see, like right here, so um... See, iPhone 4, so I'm not going to be doing this for the iPhone 5, so I'm sorry, but this is not the video for you. Now, um, what I did before I uh, did this, created this video, I already installed the I iOS uh, 7 IPSW. So what I'm going to need you guys to do is get that. So uh, let me just put this there for now. Hold up. Okay, just put it out. I'll put it back in. Okay, so iPhone, no, iPhone, okay, as you guys see, I'm running iOS 6.1.3, and if you guys saw my recent video, I did bring it down from iOS 7 to 6.1.3, so this is a video on how to bring it back up to 7.0, or, or how to get 7.0 on your iDevice. Anyways, all right. So it's basically the same exact process as before for the downgrade, except it's except instead of clicking the restore, you would do check for update. Now, as you guys know that on i on that on iPhone 4, there is no iOS 7. Okay. An update to the carrier settings. Well, I don't I don't want to update my carrier, so obviously there is no up upgrade. For the iOS 7 to, uh, I mean, for the iPhone 4 to an iOS 7, and look, see, checking for software update. It's gonna say that my uh, software is up to date. See, iOS 6.1.3, your software is up to date. Now I'm going to be putting my 7.0, my uh, iOS 7.0 on my iPhone. We're not going to need that no longer. Uh, where is my iOS 7? Sorry, guys. I'm going to need to go searching through here real quick. Uh, there it is. Okay, I'm going to have a link in the description below on which website you have to go to in order to get it. Or you can just click the annotation right there, which takes you to the website instantly. So I'm going to put this inside of my hack folder. And then this is my video for part two. Well, actually, let me see how much it's... Uh, Really quick. Okay, that's still a long time to go. All right, so uh, in order to do this, you want to open up your iTunes. Make sure your iPhone is plugged in, so it shows mine is charging, so it's plugged in. What you want to do, you want to click Shift Up and check for updates, and then this should come up. Now click on your desktop over there, and we'll click the desktop over there. Okay. And then go all the way down until you see a uh, 7.0 restore from imzdl.com. Double click that and then it's going to say update. As you can see right now, it is starting to update to iOS 7. So, yeah. Just there we go. Hopefully it doesn't fall this time. Alright, well anyways, if this video does go longer than expected, I will make another part 2 for this video. So, you know, as a matter of fact, I'm just going to do that. Uh, I'm just going to cut the video over here, okay? So, uh, for the part two, so thank you for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe, and click the annotation right there. It's huge, so you can't miss it for part two. So, uh, actually, no, you're not going to need a part two, because this is exactly what you have to do in order to get it. So, um... Uh, yeah, just comment, rate, and subscribe, and there is not going to be any part two because this is what you have to do, and you're going to get iOS 7 just like that, okay? Oops, it's just going to take that, and thanks for watching, comment, rate, and subscribe. This is Hacker Device 1, logging out.